Corellia. It's been a while since I've been home. Not Corellia itself, but the moon of Gus Talon. Officially, I'm here to inspect the construction of a new class of Imperial Star Destroyer. Truly, it's just a refit of the classic, less hangar base, more turbo lasers. In reality, I'm investigating funds being funneled to Duro, a system not far into the galactic south. I believe the rebels are using a network of smugglers and, well, criminals to move Imperial equipment off the shipping lanes. Corellia's construction costs have a higher than average marked waste cost that I believe is a cover for the stolen supplies. When two Imperial ship generators went missing, that was a clue. Our patrols have caught a smuggling ring moving through a local system. Yes, the same shielding equipment was there. Tracking the last few destinations, my investigation led me to a smuggling outpost on Rindil's surface. It's time to deploy the battle group. AT-AT supporting the regular army with ample artillery fire made short work of the base. Word from Liana, way off in the rim has reached us. The world is under siege and at the moment cut off by someone. Most are blaming the rebels, but from what I gather, this is the work of a criminal syndicate. None of the Alliance worlds are represented in the force currently being deployed. And from what little intel we've gathered, it's mostly mercenaries. But acting under such a large scale? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Check here, and welcome back to Empire at War. Let's resume. Forces of Corruption playing the fantastic mod, Awakening of the Rebellion. You can find it in the description below. There's a link. There's also been recently an update, or there's about to be an update, which is going to change some of the stuff on how the AI works, complete. making a few adjustments. Uh, we won't see a lot of that in our campaign because we've already started it, so it won't really Who's apply directly. Woo, that's loud. A cruiser is apparently here. Ooh, Reporting. I wonder which one. Hi, Lothal. Nice to see you on the galactic map. That's very cool. Oh, look at all the corruption, too. Mmm, the Black Sun. I like that we're staring at Lothal. I wonder, because Lothal is in the game now, I wonder if there's any plans to maybe include some characters that would be involved in Lothal at this point. I still haven't seen Ahsoka, so please no, no, no spoilers in chat. All right, hopefully it's good. I hope it's good. Uh, anyways, let's get back into the battle. I was reading through the comments and there was one that uh, a lot of you guys thumbs up and I'm kind of with you because I kind of forgot this planet existed, which was Tabasi. And we can get those weird... What are they called? Like tag battle cruisers? These pseudo star super star no super star destroyers, um ISDs, kinda sorta. We should go up there and we should shwack that planet and clear out the last of the core worlds. It's gray. I kind of forgot it was there. It was blocking us originally because we had our fleet over at Quad Drive Yards. Speaking of which, uh Quad Drive Yards, the 56% of the way to the first Tector Star Destroyer, which isn't really the solution to our major problems. I don't think. We'll kind of see. Vader has been burning the mid-rim. Uh, Cato de Moiti is still under our control. Ooh, we are. We're at almost 17,000 a week from all the investments we put in last week. Uh, Cato de Moitia, I could put a governor's palace down. I can't have two of those. Can I? I think actually I might be able to. Uh, honestly, I would rather spend the money on orbital, orbital income. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. We'll get the other space station. We'll bring that money up to you. Let's turn on all the things real fast. Um, I was watching another another YouTuber popped up in my feed who was playing Empire at War, and I heard, let's turn on all the things, and laughed my ass off. It's weird hearing other people say that. <laughs> Great, though. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I love it. If you look at the Steam charts for, for Star Wars Empire at War, it is one of the few RTSs that are gaining players Actually, a few. I think it's the only RTS. After a decade of being out. Isn't that insane? Oh, I love it. So good. All right. Let's do this. I'm going to move Vader back. I don't have no idea. Oh, yeah. Corellia. Oh, Corellia. You built that pilot ace squadron that I want to have with the fleet. I did split the fleet. I didn't split the fleet. I put Vader on his own. That's what I ended up doing. Vader's fleet is all the way over at Rindell Drive Yards, which is, I've invested heavily in. Oh, that reminds me. Didn't I put down a production facility on uh, Cato Nemoidia? Yeah, uh, no. No, it wasn't Cato Nemoidia. Was it Vulture? You already had one, which you're still building me perfect. You're still building me artillery. Um, oh, by the way, thank you, comments, for finding Hogdar for me. Hon Honiger. I'll say these planets' names right eventually. Maybe maybe next 10 years of playing Empire War. I'll eventually get them all down. 
Uh, ah, we're not gonna be able to get over there though, though, because there's no, there's no good way of getting there. Like we'd have to go through Nal Hutta if we wanted to come from the south. Um, we'd have to go through like Kashyyyk if we want to go through an Umbara. Um, um, um Br Brukia? That's a new one. Ah, I'm excited for the new maps too. The new update's supposed to have new maps, I believe. Uh, the quickest way would probably go through like Mirth, but we'd have to take the wheel back. And Centauri's, which was awesome last week. Uh, we need to, we need to dig you in, honestly. I'd love to put mines here, but that's not gonna happen. We need to dig in. I could do something silly. There's no other ground troops, right? Oh, no, Liana's the one that we held, which was the awesome, yes. Uh, you don't have a power generator. I could get you one, but I have a feeling you're gonna get invaded. Oh, we were talking about putting a moth palace down. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. But I can get an army support post. Upgrade There's the investment. We're gonna we're gonna tumble the ground troops down there. Good luck taking this. I look forward to your attempt. I'm also tempted to put down another airfield and just have a ton of air units, but they're kind of useless until you get it up to tier two. Uh, because you get the sweet strikers, which I, if you guys know what the consistency issues are with the striker using its proton bomb, I couldn't get it to fire. I think it needs certain like a certain unit to target. Oh, did you ever get your uh, orbital weapon? You didn't. All right, we can afford it. We'll put an orbital weapon down there. What's your base layout look like? Whoa. Whoa, you are, you have a lot of choke points. This is where Veers is located, right? Oh yeah, Veers is holding the line for us. Um, I'm already investing in the orbital fight. Why don't I continue to invest in that? Sure. The AI builds these all the time. I've never been impressed with them, but we're gonna build it again. Ah, oh, space station building construction time goes down. Oh, that's kind of nice. Maybe I'll pick up um, like a golem platform there next if I have the space for it. I don't think I will. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I should, I should. Yeah, so we'll get like a golem three. And it'll build really fast. Golem one, golem two. Oh, can I not have a golem three? No, all right. Uh, all right, Vader. Vader, pack your crap, we're leaving. Uh, but before we do that, who's got a probe for me? I need to probe something. Well, Lore, if I could just break what they have there, leave a ship behind and then head back, I'd feel a lot better about things. And also, hey, my internal security bureau. I'm assuming we've got some cra all the way at Gorman, really? Cleared for departure. All right. Technically not worth it because Gorman doesn't generate that much money, so I don't really care. But ready to go. Really, there's no corruption the entire lane down the the wheel. Wow. Slack it on their corruption. Construction. Complete. I should not complain about Carrying that because it can get really holding. irritating. All right, so that's done. How are we doing with with, with the probing? Do we probe? Probed. We have phrasing. Uh, oh yeah, this was their ground research. They have their tier one air units. Right. I could keep them from building T-47s, though I've never seen them build them in any of the invasions they've done so far. Uh, they do have an alliance headquarters here. They do have a decent, ah, oh, there's a shipyard. It might, oh wow, they're actually really dug in because they've got a mistress station, they got an X-1. And they've got an XQ3. The base layout here look like. And the base layout's kind of in their favor, sort of. But their research is like way up front. Like I could just blow up the research and leave. <laughs> this this is like prime rebel raiding target right here. Just walk in with a bunch of charges, blow that up and just leave. <laughs> Sadly, I think the only raiding unit we get, and feel free to correct me, is the storm commando. So we're not gonna be using that. All right, we're not gonna, we're not gonna hit that. I spied on you too. Oh wow, you got H sixes, well, H wigs. I mean, ugh, ugh. It's the thick. Um, what's the word for it? Bomber Y wing variant. All right, let's go take. Let's go take that planet. It's not that far north. We can get up there and get back in time. I think before anything bad happens. Right? Famous last words. Hey Rindil, what's your gee, music? What's your, um, what's your situation right now on the ground? Uh, yeah, I'll take a tier two. Tier two production facility. Let's do that. 
Uh, 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 for the little heavy stuff. And let's pick up your Rindell Drive Yards. Like, you need, you need shipyard capability. So go to a medium drop yard. Oh, attack shuttles. Yes. Yes. I'll pick up those two. Uh, are you there? Did you make it? You did. I should, I should probably move the ground forces to... I think we'll be okay. Hey, Vader, who's, who's fleet lead? Oof, I'm actually starting to feel the um, FPS drop just a little bit. Remember, I am recording as well as just generally playing. So we're going to see a little bit of FPS drop. But that is the big map. Like, I've heard that a lot, that the big map, while it doesn't really affect gameplay that much, you're just going to feel a little bit of FPS slowdown because it's running all those, all like whatever the AI is doing and the game can only handle so much and they're really pushing it to the limit. That being said, ah, oh man, it's very cool having a map like this. Uh-huh, I see Ord Montel and Iridonia. I want to take both those worlds. Ord Montel is the one we have a, a quest for. Uh, did we make it? We did. This is the one, if you remember from like episode two or three, they've got these weird battle cruisers. Which if we take this planet, uh, we'll be able to build those. We'll get the company that makes them. From what I understand, they're just like slower ISDs, but people seem to be pretty down for having them. Uh, and there was a bunch of people being like, oh, that should be what Shaq or what Shed's flagship is going to be, is the weird battle cruiser. Which, I mean, uh, maybe. You know what? Awaiting command. Transport, you just pull off. Um, it's literally just the battle cruisers, right? So we could just overwhelm them in traditional firepower, like a battle line of ISDs, and we could just shell the crap out of each other. I kind of love this plan. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll probably bring Invader if we have the extra uh, behind. Man, look at the range of the sensors on an ISD. Command ship has arrived. All right, begin moving forward. Uh, I'm going to spread you guys out a bit. As the ISDs drop out of hyperspace. And then Vader in the back. Commanding the fleet. And also giving us that sweet 10% bonus. We'll call that the motivation bonus. <laughs> What do you got going on back here? Okay, command. you're fine. You're fine. Ties, get up here. Course set. Yes, Commander. Awaiting orders. What is it, General? No, he's not going to be there. You can move forward. It's okay. All right, I'll just move you all at once. And then you'll, yeah, then you'll let me do it. You move the whole fleet at one time. All right. So I think our sensors outrange. They outrange us a lot. Wow. Okay. Dropping the battle group in. Ooh. Oof. All right, all ties, move up. You have your attack move order. But they don't outrange us that much. I want you to focus all your firepower. Do not turn like that. What is wrong with you? What, are, what is wrong with you? You get up here. All right, Vader. Got a lot of targets. Do not engage them. Bombers, you may begin your attack run on this targets. Ooh, look at those battle cruisers. I like the wings on them. It's not bad. Are we following the missile in? Oh, that's a weird camera angle. I'm down for that. You can see the victory is fired off. Looks like they're, are they being jammed? How are, are we seriously not? All right. Evade, evade, evade. Wood, wood, wood. Kick on the engines. That is not what I wanted you to do. Go that way. I want you to burn right past them. We are being jammed. Buy everything! Hey, Vader. We'll scan the area immediately. I want you to pursue. Look at his engines fire off. We're trying to maneuver past his recovery with missiles from the victory classes in the back line. Thankfully, they have the same issue that all ISDs have. Uh, they can't point forward. A minor design flaw. So we're just going to go right past them. Uh, that, sadly, this fleet, this fleet, this ship can actually hit us. So, I'm going to switch our fire to, I'm not going to be able to, am I? Uh, no, keep going, keep going. Oh, his engine stopped. So, his port side weapons can still fire. Most of them are ion, though, so I'm not overly concerned with that. 
Keep firing, team. You guys go after the Z95s. The tag battle cruiser. Attack the ions going off off of Vader's ISD. He, they are trying to turn. They're trying to keep him in firing range, but they're just not going to be able to do it. As they rotate. Watch this from the TIE Fighter's perspective. So, updates on the meta campaign for those who have been keeping up with it. This is a rule set that I've created to run a huge tabletop game with the community. Now, I expect 25 to 50 players to sign up. I didn't advertise it. I didn't let anybody know about it other than people that were on the Discord. And we ended up having 170 players sign up. And there are now over 100 players having dropped on the planet of Haven to fight off the bug menace and to save the local population. That's the story so far. And um, it's exhausting. It's really cool and I'm really enjoying it, but it's like you're, I'm, I'm having, I'm, everyone's submitting orders and I'm moving their units around and they're doing their actions. And then all of the, the bug hive has to do their actions and all the structures and got to go through like the little flow chart that I've got. It took me 11 hours for the first round. And then I shaved that down to about six and a half to seven for the second round of actual invasion, not just the scouting routes. But I was just thinking about that, watching these ties fly around. And uh, every time I thought, man, I wish we could have a, uh, a game where all the players could be, all the units were run by players. And this is my attempt at that. Of course, it's like a tabletop game brought on the Discord. Um, but still, it's super fun. It's very cool. Uh, probably gonna do another one of these. Sadly, I think I'm gonna, he survived. There is literally one guy left, team. All units. Ties intercept those units before they jump to hyperspace. Uh, I think for the next one, because we're going to be testing out a little bit more robust rule set and the customization system, I'm going to be limiting how many players are on it in some way. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Just so we can run a campaign with like maybe 50 players. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how I figure out how to do it. But I love the idea of doing like a themed one. Uh, players are getting upgrades and stuff, and their characters are going to continue in between missions. Let's move the ground invasion fleet. Actually, they should already be on the way. This is them, right? Come on. Yep. All right, so that's the ground invasion. Uh, I have enough to start construction. Hmm. I mean, I'd love to have some gladiators. I really would. What did I need for you? Ah, uh, Frigate 3, which we don't actually have. That was the ship I was talking about that everyone was like, get the strike cruiser. It'll help you shut down enemy ships. Uh, oh, hi. How are you? Ah, uh, you guys did. I'm going to break that. <laughs> The way I said that just made me laugh. I'm gonna I'm gonna break this planet because I want to put research on Vardos. Imperial infantry are 10% cheaper on this planet. Really? Oh, I don't even have a barracks on that world. We should probably do that. All right, maybe you're not gonna get that. Maybe I'll give it to like Bintel. Bum 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 bum. Wow, yeah, you need more. All right, so you're gonna get this. Production cost of all space defense structures is reduced by 10% for owning this planet. You're gonna get that. You're gonna get a golden platform. I'm gonna be broke. Done. Oh, it was the beginning of the week too. So this ground invasion is gonna have access to turrets. That's okay. That's a sacrifice I am willing to make. But I love the idea of doing a, a Star Wars themed one. That'll be, that'll be really fun. All right, let's go. Where players have like access to very TIE fighter inspired like starfighter units and things like that. Uh, yeah, it could be good. Could be good. Uh, but right now they're very it's very Starship Troopers slash Helldivers inspired campaign. Crews are online. Uh, and the players are wrecking it. Let's begin the invasion of Taposi. Invasion commencing. They shouldn't be too crazy, right? Oh, we actually don't know. Ah, oh, this is one of those. Are basically like street fighting down small avenues. 
Uh, this is literally the setup for what? Um, Camino. This is the Camino map. Yeah, this is just the Camino map. Okay. Roger that. They're always adding new planets. Or new maps for the planets. Uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do heavy support walker. And then we're just going to go really heavy into armor. We don't normally do that. I think that'll be fun. And then we'll bring in support units to, like, repair them. Uh, and a couple of, like, normal infantry squads to be our buffer zone. I only have one... The box. Surprise! Attack tank copy. All right, let's go. Reporting. Ready to deliver. Yes, Commander. Dun 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 dun. dun. Move it up. Yes, sir. Scouting. And we're rolling. We don't have any money, so we can't build any turrets. Get the infantry up front. On the move. Ready for Bias time. Strongest unit in the field right now is like the Sentinel shuttles. Uh, and an artillery unit. You guys, head on over to the ramp. Wait a minute. This isn't exactly like the Camino map, is it? It's got like, one, it looks really cool. We're obviously in like a Taurus inspired world space. Oh, look at the pit. Neat. But the way that it's, I mean, it does kind of look like it, doesn't it? Because this would be where there's like a shield generator a lot of times. Um, there's normally like a ramp up into this area. Yep, there's a ramp. So very similar, but obviously with a different like decorative vibe to it. We're moving. Cool looking though. If I capture the planet, I will gain an income of 640. The local humans are allied with our enemies. I see. Well, the local, they, they are the locals, aren't they? <laughs> aren't they like just straight up or fighting one of the defense forces? All right, let's go capture this landing zone. We have contact. Local security ESPO forces. Completely annihilated. Keep pressing forward. Armor, go ahead and roll up in front of them. I can't imagine they're gonna have that that rate of like anti-armor capability, so. You guys set up there. We're gonna have to hold up for a second and wait for the walker to reach us. Put some fire on this. Infantry. Okay, if you really wanna break that empty bunker, that's fine. Da, 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 da. We good? Ready for command. Okay, we're moving out. I'm gonna give me the attack move order. I'm gonna send you this way to back them up. The suppression teams get work done. You can see them with the like auto rifle, and we figured out where they're coming from. So this isn't even the main force. This is literally just that spawn area. Oh, they have a turret. Continue to fire. Oh, jump position. I won't be seeing you out often. Actually, let's move you over a little bit farther. Is that an imperial? Trooper actually on the back of that? Like it should be, you'd think. Look at this thing. I can't be the only one excited for the Clone Wars mod. Whack. Hey, Walker! Walkers! Let's go ahead and secure this. This whole pathway, don't let them through. And then we're just gonna walk all the way around. Help them out. I feel like the mix of an APC and an artillery platform. We've got it handled, sir. They're losing numbers quickly. They're suffering heavy losses. Good 
We'll clear it. We'll clear it. No problem. We have actually found something new that we're up against. Um, let's adjust fire for the turrets. They're into. They're anti infantry, aren't they? No, they're anti vehicle turrets. Get up there. Get up there, teams. Get up there, teams. We need to take those out before they come online. Walker. Walker. Please fire. Rockets are away from the ATSDs. Let's get those grenades in range. Also kind of want to capture this bunker, so we're not wasting shots on it. Hey, there we go. And the bunker is ours. Get in the bunker. The rest of our force is currently pushing through. Like we have engaged uh, something? I actually don't know. All right, we're moving. Let's get Arthur Walker over here. <laughs> our at, at commander has decided he's going in. I didn't go that far. Bombing run prepared. Calling it in. Oh, Vader's in orbit, so we should have fancy bombers. Wow, look at the city. Look at the city. There's been some big Star Wars Galaxies updates. Oh no, they've done anti air. They've doubled anti air in the corner. Really? Well, wait a minute. He did get some proton bombs out, though. Was it enough to weaken the defenses here? It will have to be. Let's get the walker up front. The rest of the reinforcements are almost there. I'm just going to have you guys go. You, the problem with the walkers is being super slow. Something that I've been debating about how to how to introduce like a heavy walker that's inspired by the ATAT in the meta campaign is like what do you what do you what do they do? Because we already have super heavy battle tanks, which is a unit a player can be. Which is think of that like a like a um the giant tanks from Empire from Empire War from um 40k, right? Those those kind of tanks. The I, I almost said Lehman Russ, but that's not the word for it. Um Bane Blade. Like a Bane Blade. So what would be the difference? And I'm thinking maybe having uh, the the inventory capacity and then like they can keep troops inside maybe, but they move really, really slowly. So it's kind of a big metal box to protect them. Please don't go that deep. On the move. Scouting area. Actually, you're okay. You're you're not great, but you're okay. I know you've gotten infantry around you and that confuses you, but try to go that way. Copy. I'll send you both that way. Out. Orders. Hey, walkers fall back. Copy. Let's just have this whole unit fall back. Let's, that means you, that means I run. That means run, run, you turn, you turn. Okay, that's one of you's dead. Leave, flee, flee. Like playing Mech Warrior when you've drained all the armor off your back. Lead them right into the wall. Yeah, there you go. Lead them walk into the AT. -AT. And you go back here. And you give me the bombardment. Uh, they have two pieces of arty. We're gonna move up. We're gonna move up. And as soon as you guys get into grenade range, I'm gonna start shelling, start throwing. I don't think I ever even brought the artillery over it. No, they got stuck. <laughs> move them in, move them in, move them in, move them in. I want all heavy fire. Please tell me this isn't an anti vehicle. Of course it is. Of course it is. All right, you guys are in the fight. Go ahead and deploy. All right, if you wanna kill the saber tank, kill the saber tank. But do so quickly. Yes, I need your heavy weapons taking out the anti-vehicle turrets. That saber tank still isn't dead. And the reason it's not dead is because, honestly, these units are really, really... Yes, Holy crap, why are you so broken? You barely survived that? He survived it. He's got no health. Okay, but you, you can rejoin the fight. Hey, how's it going over here, team? We've taken out one vehicle turret. The other one is still up. So we've lost both of our tanks. No, we haven't actually. I believe in you guys. Keep preparing him. I'm moving you forward. I'm worried that they're being dumb in there. Oh, there's actually stuff in that bunker. Who's scarier? Probably him. Yeah, probably him. You're doing great, team. You're doing great. I'm gonna have you fall back. You get up here. Our ATST has arrived. Ah, oh, our tank died. 
All right, point blank him. Point blank him in the face. You have made mistakes, sir. And now you will pay for them. AT-AT <laughs> just walks up and goes swack. We are gonna have to break through this. Um, there's an Espo unit like behind us. Oh, it's the base. Hey. No, 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 you guys are good. You guys are good, kill that. Yeah, keep your fire on the bunker. We need to we need to deal with that. I like that there's still smoke from the orbital. <laughs> like it's still glowing red. Hey, the Artie showed up. Look at you, all units. Focus your fire on this target. You guys can get out of cover now. You did good, infantry. You done good. Okay, never mind. You're still being grenaded. Uh, we left a couple squads alive. Let's deal with that first before we deal with the base. All right. Walkers, focus on the building. Infantry, focus on the infantry. And you guys, you've got your forward cannons. You ATSTs can deal with that. And then you guys fire this. You don't need to move closer. Like, you're an artillery piece. You can stop. Same with you. You should be in firing range too by now. Lock your legs. Open fire. That's looking good. Go ahead and plant. Let's kill the building. Oh no, grenades! These are kind of great for killing clustered infantry like these. All right, fall back in. Actually, don't fall back. Get in the tech. Get in. Oh, they did. Get in the walker. Either walker. I don't care which. Just get in the walker. Get in the walker. Get in the walker. Get in the walker. There you go. Yeah, these tier twos are no joke. Proper base. Bomber is inbound. Aerospace assets on the way. Please hold. Please hold. He's like, no, you're not getting away. Nope. Turn around. Turn around. I wonder, would it be better to not give them orders to turn around? Oh, he's so dead. I give them like small orders to turn. He's gonna die. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna die. Doesn't have the maneuverability to get out of that. But there's the victory. I hope one of those ATSC survived, but I don't think they did. Nope, we lost the ATSC company. A little bit of a brutal siege. But the world is ours, and it is the last of the core worlds. If I had money, I'd lock it down, but I don't. Uh, can we? <gasps> wow, that crowd army's actually still looking pretty good, even with those losses. Oh, Vader's finally got his stormtrooper force, and he's basically bled all of the army regulars out. Now he's just gonna have stormtroopers, and that's gonna be his ground force. I can deal with that. All right, we've got some corruption that needs to be dealt with. Alderaan, oh, there's nothing I can do with you. You're totally maxed out. Okay. Has been removed. Fair enough. Fair enough. What do you take, Executor? Because if I had you Construction complete. in the front, if I had you as a defense unit, I could just keep you in the back, protecting the core for me. You require global complete. warships three. Okay. You need warships three. Well, we're only at warships two, and they're it's expensive. Star Destroyer reporting in. Star Destroyer reporting. That would be our new one. There it is. Uh, I'm actually going to sign you to the defense force down near this. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're going to be part of that unit. Vader's got enough chaos going on with his army at the moment. Uh, what was Bill bringing? You were building me something too, right? You were building me like all the fun stuff. Let's move all the space stations out of the way so we can see. Uh, you've also got a probe droid. Oh, the probe droid that I was going to send to um, Iridonia, which I already have one at Iridonia. Can I see the ground forces? No. Upgrade complete. Iridonia. Wow, pretty dig in, actually. Holy crap, you got enough rocket troops? And a giant shield generator. That's funny, because that's how I... um, That's how I described the city of Iridonia in my tabletop campaign was that they have, um, on occasion, they have kind of an acidic rainstorm. And the cities are built into uh, the sides of canyon walls as a protection from the horrible weather. 
Uh, and there was a shield generator that kind of protects it from, you know, taking damage from that. Uh, let's take a look at Ord Montel. That's one of our missions that we've been building up to slowly. We need the fleet for it. I think you guys are going to end up joining up with Vader and being his fighter escort. That was kind of the point here. I've got Brutes, I've got Tom Falks, and I've got the turret layer, the fleet tender. And I think that's going to round out Vader's fleet pretty well. I think he's going to be basically done. And then the fleet to the south is going to be a bit weirder. We're going to have like gladiators down there. We've been paid. Heck yeah. All right. Let's get um, drive yards. Build me another tector. Yeah. Good. My fleet cap has gone up because we built those space stations and took a couple of worlds. Uh, since I'm here, Chimpala, why don't I break you? We can try out our new tector as well. Hey, Vader. We heard somebody was talking crap. And you need to go deal with it. Yeah. Space station's already gone down, too. Uh, who's fleet lead? Who's Pathfinder? Let's use a carrier as a pathfinder. See our new carrier. We also take out a hero here. Though I don't think permanently. Dealing with some security issues in the mid rim. You know, as the campaign goes, I guess we did have, I was about to say, we didn't, haven't really had like a mid rim sieges um, scenario, but the rebels got all the way to quad drive yard. So that's not really true. And I still haven't pushed them out of like Covenor or Quellor. Hmm. Okay. Begin the battle. Let's go. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, there she is. The ton fog. When you need a box full of death, call this thing. Wait, they gave it hanger like ports on the tops and bottoms? Oh, I love it. There's a way to fix that flickering issue. And if you know what it is, let me know. I don't remember what the fix is, but I do remember that there is a fix for it. It's starting to launch all of its fighters now. I can see some bombers have just come out. Some regular ties are there. The cloud of doom. You can see it's quad weapons on the top. Look at the turrets. Yeah. What are those? What are you cut? Are you, um, endurance carrier? Yeah, but you are you an anti-fighter endurance? Let's see. Six dual flak laser cannons. So that means if they're flak, that means that they debuff enemy starfighters around them. That's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to double down on that. So you're giving me a bomber, tie interceptor, and a tie fighter, right? And your endurance. So you're going to get a squadron of each of those extra. Only two of them. You only get one out of one bombers. Wah, wah. All right. Uh, we can make this work. Let's bring in a little battle group of carriers. Let's go really heavy starfighter. Um, let's defend the carriers with a fleet tender. They can drop turrets. Uh, let's bring in, speaking of fighters, we can have literally the best like fighter squadron in the game. Vaders. Look at all those bombers. And three of them are actual squadrons. Oh man. Uh, no, I'm gonna keep, I'm going with this. I don't know how well this is gonna work out, but let's bring in a bunch of interceptors. And a bunch of brutes. And then a sister ship for Vader's units. And then I will hold the rest in reserve so that we can customize the force as we need it. Go ahead and launch your fighters. Vader launches brutes. Vader, where's your squadron? There you are. I presume nothing. How dare you. Tie interceptor here. I wouldn't last long in Vader's flight. Cruiser here. Yes, sir. Too much sarcasm. Too much supplement drop. Repair. Yeah, okay. Probably not going to use that much. Uh, ooh, AOE deployment drawing for Corvettes, frigates, and capital ships. This will repair the uh, subsystems. Hmm. I'm leaving you with the fleet. No, I'm going to leave you back there with the carrier fleet. And the carrier fleet's not going to see combat. All right, all fighter squadrons. We have a star base to go um, uninstall from existence. Oh, look at his fighters. 
There's those bombers that we keep calling in for ground support. I love that there's parity between air and space in this. Uh, yeah, air and space. Yeah. Look at the brutes. They're so weird. In a good way. One of the few tie variants that are weird that I like. What is it? Frequency open. But I think matches the Empire. Because they weren't like, Something. let's just make it better than whatever the rebel equivalent is to make it a big bad guy for a novel. The brutes like, eh. We just decided to up armor a TIE Fighter. It's not really better, because now you took away the one thing the TIE Fighter had going for it, which was speed and maneuverability. <laughs> it's not better. It's just different. I've given the attack move order. Vader's squadron is taking point. Let's see how much damage we can do. The fleets are engaged. As soon as Vader's in, I'm going to bait. Go ahead and bait. Bombers are here. All bombers! I want you to focus your fire on the heavy uh, cannons and then we'll bring the ISDs up. And by the time the ISDs get to firing range, this thing shouldn't have any ion or ion, any railgun weapons anymore. Uh, probably been about easier to do this had I actually made you guys a group. Target the mass driver. Good job, bombers. The siege has begun. Got another mass driver on the bottom. Let's go ahead and target that. Did you guys get it? Have you stripped it of all of its defensive equipment? Yes, you have. Good job. Go ahead and go after them. The fleet is engaged. Take out the escorts. The endurance carriers, because we are going to be losing units here. They are endurance. That means that they can they can continue to launch fighters. So their second squadrons are being launched now. Uh, I can't tell if they're pushing through. So let's go ahead and just start deploying turrets just in case. I don't want to be waiting until they get here. Actually, at this point, I feel like this little carrier group could probably kill these ships. <laughs> hey, fighters, how you doing? Uh, basically, swarm killed this. Look at look at this. So the enemy frigates and cruisers have moved up. Now remember, the AI is supposed to be better in this version, and I think it is because they've actually kept. So they've moved up. What is your actual job? Torpedo boats, right? So they should move and engage us. They don't have the firepower to do enough damage. Um, I mean, they might be able to kill a carrier if they push through, but they've got a long way to go in between two ISDs. They're never going to get there in time. We're going to do too much damage to that. As long as we focus our firepower. But look what stayed behind and didn't just rush us. A screener. This guy is getting so many kills right now, just sitting here. Also, I hate these things. <laughs> oh, there's another screener who's just shown up. That's not good. Hey, Brutes. This should be kind of your thing. So brutes have a heavier, um, they have a heavy laser cannon, so they can they can up, up hit like they can punch units that are higher than them, harder than them. Um, defensive formation as well, by the way. Let's let's try to stay alive as long as we can. Um, Vader, yeah, keep baiting them. See if you can kill it. That's not gonna work. Scratch that. I want you all to switch your fire to this guy because I think he's got less at the rails. It's like fighting a Minotaur ship, Minotaur ship, and Eve, just auto cannons in every direction. And yes, for my Eve players out there, I played Eve back in the day. No, I don't play it anymore. <laughs> Deploy turrets. Uh, eh, okay. Begin repairs. Keep the tractor beam emitter on line. We can move in now. Yes, sir. Sir, we've got high casualties on the TIE Fighter engagement. But all the defensive turrets have been taken down. Excellent. Going just as I planned it. <laughs> this is how you become a TIE Interceptor pilot. You survive long enough. Shields almost gone. Shields almost gone. Who's losing shields? No one of consequence. We're getting a lot of missile. Oh, there are 41s lobbing rockets at us from the ion cloud. Yeah, deploy turret. I love the idea of a fleet tender. Just yeeting turrets out the bay. Hey, grab. Uh, good damage. Good damage. <laughs> one of our so in the meta campaign, we they they found one of our scouts found a a bunker with supplies in it, and the engineers who found the bunker found 
basically the auto turrets from aliens you know the ones with the ammo counter that's quickly taking down it's a super intense scene and they can deploy those in a, in a hex grid anywhere they want uh they don't have to even be in it and either it increases their damage output for a round or it just does damage whether they're there or not pretty awesome up until they run out of ammo of course i love that stuff i love that it's such a good engineer like upgrade too like piece of kit oh we've been kind of enemies coming in and we can prepare for it yeah i set up automated defense turrets bring it bring it bugs uh it's the same group that can drop mines too so they can go super defensive Amusement station has been taken down. Firestar, the uh, Longhorn Escort Frigate. The other ones must have been freeze. I didn't realize there was one paid for. Nice. We're taking this world back. We actually lost this one. This was early territory gained. And then, I don't know what they did. I bet you... I bet you... Their fleet fell back at some point. I don't believe you. You guys control Ithor. I can't believe that you don't uncontrol Ithor. Let's get some scouts. I assumed the fleet that took this ran off, but maybe we did more. No, they're probably sitting on Ord Montel right now, which is going to be a horror show to take. Detectors might be really useful. Keldor, you're corrupted again. Tell your monks, monks to get off their asses and deal with the corruption. Course approved. Keldor monks can, um, they're like the best weather forecasters ever. I love that little bit of lore. Because the, the world is known for its severe storms, they have a weird relation with the force that they can feel when the storms are coming. It's like a, uh, uh, some kind of evolution of their attachment to how they deal with the force. But very cool. Their world is strange. That's something I want to see more in Star Wars. I want to see exploration of the force that has nothing to do with the Jedi. Because it's not a Jedi Sith thing. The force is just a thing and pe different species and cultures kind of like are attached to it in weird ways and have different effects on it the jedi are just one example of that in the sith i want to see more of that i want to see more of that exploration uh another example would be like uh the sisters the night sisters and they're weird being able to cast like spells and stuff that's very much they're just manipulating a version of the force in their own unique way i like that a lot I like that a lot. It reminds me of like kind of a, almost a D and D style uh, magic system, of uh, or oh the warp in 40k. Like the force is just this omnipresent thing, represent, represented by the personality of the wielder. Uh, I can't. Oh, I wanted to know what was it Ord Montel. I want to see what heroes are there. Maybe we can annihilate some heroes once we're ready for that invasion. We won't be doing it this episode because I think we need to get our. Our fleet needs to be ready. I want to stomp the criminal organization at Ord Montel, one of their capital worlds, into tiny little pieces. And we're just not Reality there yet. Corruption. Hey, Balmora. Um, you need Light Vehicles 3. And I want to give you Light Vehicles 3. Elite AT-ATs and the SPMAT. What is the SPMAT? What? Well, uh, that's not click. That's not ringing a bell to me. Is it the um the anti-air? No, that's the ATMMA. Oh crap, baskets! Oh crap, baskets. Okay. Um. Yeah. Hard hard right turn. We're gonna get. Hmm, Luker Hulk. The Doom Donut is under production already. I say already, it is It is week 82. It's not that bad. It's about that time. That's a problem though. That's a big problem. What do we... Hey, Bill Bringy. I actually don't think large capital ships are the way to go. I think it might be Starfight. Mm, I think it's gonna eat Starfighters. Especially my poor Imperial ones. Artillery disabler to go for like broadsides. Maybe it's just dumb tactors on top of it. Let me know in the comments. As an Imperial commander, right? I'm reaching out to the rest of the commanders in Fleet Comp and I'm saying, hey, we've got a threat. We've intel that this this command ship is being retrofitted and it is impressive. They are dumping 
you know, billions of credits into this, into this job to make a flagship, the likes of which, you know, we, we have never seen. What can we do about it? There's no way the Super Star Destroyer plane will get off the ground anytime, you know, it'll be, it'll be finished anytime soon. Uh, and that's, that's in lore me being like, I don't want to build it because I don't really like SSDs. I'm sorry. I don't. They're really boring. They're just a giant thing of guns. That's why I always use them defensively. And it sit there, right? There's not a lot of tactical planning going in to dump guns on top of this thing and drop it somewhere. So, what, how do we counter a Luger Hulk without dropping an SSD on it? What's your deal? You're a frigate screener captain. And a carrot. 10% bonus to all frigates. Hmm. It's just such a bag of hit points with tons of fighters. It's gonna be a pain. I mean, it's very Imperial of me to just be like, let's just build a bunch of detectors and shell it until it goes away, until the problem goes away. Like low tech. They're 18,000 a piece. They're not cheap. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna bank this money. I'm gonna bank this money for now. Let me know what y'all think we should do another at, at for the ground operation um and i'm going to invest in my regulars for the second soldiers. army that won't burn up too much of our um enlisting soldiers and get a bunch of there we go there we go all right uh do i have uh, i need to get back over here on this front i'm where they're gonna hit us back Quad drive yards once again kind of they can't get through i'll know i'll know beforehand The ground invasion shouldn't be that much of a big deal. I should be able to do this. Yeah. Yeah. I'll move the I'll, I'll move the army we have. Let's get you before we do anything. Um, what do we put on the ground so far? Yep. Nope. Nope. Come here. Uh, you need a better space station for the battle cruisers. I mean, maybe the battle cruisers are the right choice. Let's go ahead and get your space station going. Because that was the plan, anyways. Uh, brings me down to 19. And I should definitely get you at the very minimum an outpost so we don't, just don't get raided and lose you. Okay. Man, taking plans is expensive. We're going to load up the ground forces and we're going to take Timpala back. What's your bonus? The income of this planet is changing due to high gambling activity. All right. But not really. Like, you're seven, you don't have much. You, oh, I wonder if it's got a bunch of, like, either it fluctuates. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. It's only at 17. You'd think a gambling planet would be making bank. Moving out. Choose your reinforcements. I wish I had air units. This is really not the world for this. Awaiting there order. should be a Advancing. mercenary group somewhere. Ready. Go ahead and spread out. Acknowledged. Moving out. This time, we're bringing in Advancing. stormtroopers with a little bit of support. And the Advancing. slowest APCs in existence. We're gonna load you guys up in the two walkers. Uh, with two walkers, one walker. Are we already contact? Yes, oh, we have contact. Spread out, man. Hey, cover. Wow, you guys are dead. Did we make it? Roger. Uh, no, we are fighting a concussion. No, that's torpedo. Ooh, okay. Reporting in. Yeah, go kill that. Roger that. Good job, team. You already eliminated an enemy threat. Now head on back and see the medics. Move out. Ready, sir. Medics, get up here. These units, it's like I kind of care about them. Oh, balls. We are not... I did not bring enough... Anti-air for this. And they don't fire missiles or anything, so... I don't know if small arms can do... I mean, they're just T-16s. We should be able to deal with this. Get in the grenade rage. Can you hit this? I don't want to bring vehicles into firing range on this, but... Reporting. Hey, guys. 
Hey, one guy's got grenades in there. I believe in you. All right, all of you fire. Order acknowledged. Fire the rockets. Good night. Look at this mob. This is how we lost this planet. Now I remember. Uh, is there, uh, just, just by chance. Yes, Commander. Yeah, head on down there. Is there a, um... Choose your reinforcements. Oh, I don't even know. You guys get in this. What are your orders? Pack it up. To that area. We need to find oh, this. We need to find stuff like this. Any anti-air turrets that we can build. Thankfully, we do have the cash on hand. Uh, let's move you over here. Acknowledged. And we're gonna grab the mercenary company. I don't think there's a mercenary, what I was about to ask before, that is good at anti-air. I don't think there's like an anti-air. Don't yeah, go up there. Ready. Heading out. I'm a little concerned to be leaving the evac position. Good job. Roger. That turret's ours. Maybe it'll harass Roger. and kill one of them. Roger. Don't know what our walker is doing. He seems Reporting. a mite confused. Yeah, they just kind of surrounded the location I was heading. Um, We've recruited some mercenaries. Hey, all right, who are we gonna recruit? Let's see, we can get, um, I always go for Mandos, which honestly, I think I still want Mandos. I wasn't, Hunters, Warriors. I want Mandos because they're fast with the jetpacks and I want to see if I can find anti-air turrets. Okay, we got a bunker here. I don't think T-16s can even pierce this, this thing. Like, not enough. Missiles away? That's not good. Are they, oh, it's a grenade launcher. Okay, we're fine. You're fine. Cap this, keep it busy. All of you, you may fire when ready. All right, our mercenary outfitter has been destroyed, but we do have our Bum, 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 bum. Uh, let's go ahead and move in. I'm a little sad. They've taken our plan. You should be able to go straight across. <gasps> oh, if I can get the flag turret in the middle. If they haven't done that yet, we've just won the game. This could go really badly because if I can't kill these air units. Okay, well, we got that. They're retreating. Good. As it should be. Please don't blow that up. Just take it. Oh, yeah, we would have got the flak and we would have won it. All right, cool. They ran. They ran. They lost nothing. So they got all their troops into the evac site. Uh, you should run, even though I think you could have done a lot of damage. We had more numbers. They had the right, weirdly the right choice of vehicles. I need to get anti-air. I need to get one of those weird walkers that can just shut down anti-air. For sure. One of those times when having a TIE Fighter Squadron on the ground would have been really useful. They would have wrecked those T-16s. All right, everybody. I look forward to reading your tactical advice. Uh, we've got a lot of planets that we need to take. We've got our fleet over Abyss. I need to put a commander in this. I kind of want to make it. I want to get like him in command, not him. Uh, actually, I don't know who I'd put in command in that fleet. Hmm. Could give him like the Ace Squadron with one of our Ton Fault Carriers. Oh, we have two, we have two heroes now. Yeah. A frigate, Endurance Carrier. The 181st and the 77th. Neat. All right, everybody, I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.